Hello, I'm Michael Cassidy. Thanks for coming to our channel. I've got one of my very best models here at the end today, and uh, I'm happy to be doing this a Ford. Uh, it'll be just a faded haircut. We're going to be fading close through here. We're going to work a little bit right around the ear. We'll leave it full, and I'll work right in here some. We're actually going to leave this super full in here. So <clears throat> we'll just neaten it up a little bit for. It's a little bit bulky here. We're going to fade it, blend this in. So I'm going to start out with a three blade, three guard, which would be a half an inch, I consider. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to come in here and we'll fade in just a little bit. Of course, the, the, the closer you get this, and the full the full of this is going to appear. So, but we should want it too uh, close. But we want to just fade it in a little bit. <clears throat> trying to, you know, where the head changes through here. You notice where the head changes. <clears throat> what you do, you're coming off the head. If you don't know how to fade, you're coming off the head here. <clears throat> If you don't use clippers, you're missing it. Use clippers if you want to do some good hair cutting. Two and three eighths blade. Down for my half an inch. Next thing down below the other. Two and three eighths fading in. Staying low down here at the bottom. It's not hard at all. Okay, I'm going to come down here to a two blade, a one quarter, what it would be. I'm going to come right here at the bottom. Just right here at the bottom a little bit. Always to be able to see how this is looking, finish this here. If you can finish your bottom, you can see how this is looking. You can do something with it. Make it a very appealing hairstyle. I'm going to kind of give her just a little point. That's what her hair cries out for, basically. A point here, I believe. And, uh, some women are actually doing the square look now. That looks fine. But uh, I think her look is a pointy look right now. I think I've cut off. Uh, Ann's hair over here like four times that on the camera I think three or four times. Yeah. I think the last time we cut it we had a lot of visits. Uh, we got some stuff here that's kind of waving up that can be taken care of with a little bit of thinning right on the ends. We're bulking that right here. We can thin in here just on the ends a little bit and we can make a difference in this cut. And, and still leave it full and long looking. But make it where it spreads out. You're actually spreading out the hair is what you do when you're thinning it. You're actually making it it's bulky because it's thick. And if you get the ends of it, it actually bulks out, it fades out and it comes out in a more level area there, it seems like. Let me just click that a time or two because I'm not gonna even cut this at the back. But I'm going to click just a little bit in here. I think immediately you'll see a difference in the wave here. I'll be doing this just a little bit. See, you guys, she's got something like something that grows together here, it looks like. So bulky. And you can immediately, I believe, see that it's doing something different when I do this. Okay. You can see that it's doing a little something. I want to be careful to leave it good and full. That's what she's wanting. So, always give them what they want. Don't do what you want to do. That's a big mistake. Somebody asked me today, what, "What's the point about you know uh, 
building clientele. Cut it like they want it. Don't smoke. Don't talk on the phone while you're cutting the hair. You know. Uh, a few, there's a few little tricks. You know. I went to the girl's place one day. So my business has been slow. She had a cigarette in her hand. And she had a, uh, one of those phones you talk on your head, well, headset when you're talking. I want to say you need to get rid of that phone and get rid of that cigarette if you want some business. But you, you can see an immediate difference what I'm doing here with this fact when I'm doing this with the you see that it's actually coming in to get some of that bulk out of the way. And immediately this is looking better. But I just keep working with it, you know. You can see that's doing it's giving you some looks there. Oh. Might do a little something on the end texturizer. And spread this hair out a little bit. Don't want to do too much. I said, get on YouTube and learn every haircut you can learn, I told the girl. You know, that's what you need to do. I think it was a girl, I'm not sure. Might have been, a, 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 I don't know exactly who did give me a message, but I did write them back. If you listen to this video, watch this video. I did write them back today. And I, I might not answer all the questions that people send me, but, uh, I do read about every one of them, and sometimes I don't have a chance to uh, answer them. I'm trying to answer them now, though, pretty much. So I won't neglect you if you if you send me a message or something. I do read your messages. That is helping a little bit there now. That's making a difference. And I'm going to come back. I'm not finished with this hair on the right, right here. I'll come back at the end here and finish this. notice what I'm doing there. Just a little different top point. I think it makes it look a little more feminine looking. That's what we're going for. We still got this thing here doing something. Anything sticking back up through here. If you go too low, it's going to stick back up through the hair. Just be real careful about going too low with your thinning shears. Okay, let's just stop right there right now. Let's go over here. Let me work right here just a little bit. Now, she she cut a little bit above her ear slightly. Let's go ahead and just neaten it up. When they do that, they're telling you what they want. When they, somebody comes in and cut the hair, they show you what they want to do. So you, you can kind of use it as a marker. They describe it to you when they cut that hair, where they cut it at, about what they want. You know. so. Let me just come here and do a little something. She wants to leave that word last for a few more weeks, four or five more weeks past Christmas. Barely doing something here. Okay. That's looking like something. Always remember, cut it like they want it. <laughs> Don't do it like you want it. Oh, I'm gonna let the hair show. Everybody come in. I know what you want. I did. I saw a new haircut. They just skin people's hair all day long. Then I saw the people at the hair show, man, this wife like they've been fussing for they were up cutting the hair. Had a terrible attitude the people did. I don't know what was wrong with them, but she said, I don't want my hair cut. 
But they were cutting that hair, showing a certain haircut, a close haircut. And they cut her that same haircut just like they did everybody else. They didn't pay no attention to her no more than nothing. She said, I don't want that short haircut. And they cut a, a short haircut just like everything else they had done that day. Didn't pay a bit of attention to her no more than nothing. That might have been why they were at the hair show doing the hair show. They lost the business. And their haircuts looked good, but they were showing this. They were doing a haircut, doing haircuts, and this woman didn't want that haircut. And they cut her hair the same way they did everybody else's. He didn't want to pay no attention to her or nothing. People had a terrible attitude. You know, that's just kind of what you run into. Yeah, that could look good. But it wasn't what the woman wanted. And maybe she liked it later on, but maybe she didn't. You know, so I don't know. Okay, got a little angle there. I saw her at the grocery store the other day when I was after I cut her hair. And she was standing at the counter and I said, Lord, I'd been so jealous if I had to cut that hair because it looks so good on her. <laughs> I didn't talk I didn't stop and talk to her, but, uh, she was standing there buying her some chicken or something at the Walmart. <laughs> I said, Lord, I'm glad I cut her hair because it sure looked good. I sure would have been jealous. I look forward to coming to work this morning. I enjoy what I do. I've had a humongous week this week. I cut 26 heads yesterday and did a perm yesterday morning. And I hadn't done perms in 8 or 10 years, but I went back to doing them again. So, in the morning before I get busy cutting, then I, the other morning I cut 26 and did a perm, and about 21 and about 20. This has been a humongous week this week. So, right here at Christmas. Uh, you know, sometimes you say, well, where's the business at? You know, some days you get down to 10 or something, you know. But I've cut more about everything I could do this this whole week. About every haircut I could do, really. And a good rule, too, is when you're cutting hair on this side, you'll notice your fingers are smaller here, is to come in here. And master barbers are taught, or barbers are taught to come back this to the left. When they get on this left side of the head, to cut, cut back like this. And you actually can do a little better. But really this is the hardest area in the head right here to get right, I think. I won't much off of that, so let's just make sure we got it blended just a little bit. <clears throat> and I'll do more after we get it dry, whatever. But <clears throat> you'll notice on this cut here, she says she's not want about a half an inch off that top. Now this right here, the fuller area, looks good right through here. We want to kind of do something right in here. We want to kind of leave this. We want to work right here just a little bit. Get that half an inch right in there. That's where, it's where it's really going to make it look good at. We're going to get a little more height. There's what we're going to get. Let me just yeah, come in here and... Uh, you know, maybe not quite a half to go down to it if we do it.
And so what we're doing, we're leaving this a little fuller and longer here. So you can get some looks in this haircut. She said no more than a half an inch off that top, so I don't think we if you're gonna have to get a half an inch off of it, I don't think. I just kind of with that I'm gonna I'll leave that up a little higher at the front. It's gonna be laying now, so it's not gonna make much difference from that. I know I'm getting it like she wants it, so that's the main thing. Yeah. You know, I talked to her quite a bit too before we started with this thing. And I really figured out what she wanted to start with. Uh, and that's very important. Kind of figure out what they want. If you don't, <laughs> you're going to do with something different than what they want. They won't be back. It'll take anything for people not to come back anyway. For sure, if you don't cut it like they want, they won't be back. <laughs> You can cut it 50,000 times, you're going to one time not do it right, you won't see them again, they get mad with you. So, been cutting hair 30 years, I've been knowing a lot of ins and outs and tricks of the trade, yeah. Get a little bit right, is that right? Would you bring me that blow dryer, please? Never, never mind. I, yeah, bring that blow dryer to me, please. <clears throat> Thank you so much.
Can you take this a little bit more off of my ear so when it's sitting on my ear? Oh, oh yeah, right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. That is. Yeah, that is on the record. I don't understand the thing with the clippers, the scissors coming and snipping like you when you do the same thing with the clipper. I see a lot of people popping their scissors, you know, doing it. But the clipper is more efficient. It's like doing you fading. There's nothing wrong with that's the way they developed the gift, you know. It just seems like to me it's a lot easier to take the clipper and bring it up. Let's go back this side here. Let's make sure it's not laid on the air here. Let them tell you if the ear looks right when they look at it. They can see it a lot clearer than I can when I'm, if they look at it and say, well, I want, that's a little bit different here on one side here than on the other. You need to work with it. That's what they're going to do when they get home. So, I'm going to let them do it here. Let them look and tell you what, what needs to be done to it, what they feel like needs to be done. One guy cut his hair in a flat top, and he's always talking about the fellow Blees Buller that cut hair 35, 40 years and chew on. He was the best on a flat top ever been. And uh, I never could satisfy the guy, it seems like, but I finally did. But uh, I hate to turn him around the mirror because he was spotting it before I got a chance to spot it myself. What was wrong with it? What needed to be done to it? You know. Finally, he told me he had been trained pretty good, so he thought he did it. So, <laughs> But I was really one of the best ones in around here anywhere on flat tops, but, you know, opinion, I reckon, you know. I said, yeah, that, you was about 20 years old back then, you weighed about 120 pounds, and your head won't be as round as it is now, you know. and, uh, <laughs> you, you, you got a flat top every week, they went every week and set the barber chair, they went every six months, that guy come by every year, and I try to cut it back in a flat top for every six months, it's hard to do it. You got to make it stand up again and work with it.
can see the side of the haircut too. How good it's looking. full look on this hair doing this. I like the way that's looking. Just get it and cut. We must have cut through here and left this part. That made the difference I believe. Mm -hmm. Cutting this a half an inch off of it. I know. I think she'll be more pleased with this cut. She got really got a head I enjoy working on too. Though. I can kind of describe what we're doing a little bit easier on hers it seems like. I wish I had a few more like this to do. You know, I could really do something with you. I'd really show the video. There's not a lot of people getting their hair cut short right now like this. And one time this was really, really a lot of people getting it done. Let's make this look just as good as we can back here. I like this peanut. I like the, uh, the Andis also, the uh, T edger and the outliner. It, it shaves a little bit closer than this one does. I think it's very shady. But this is easy to handle. And I prefer, I like the one with the cordless too. This is a good clipper too. They do a nice, neat looking line. And it did help that in the back, if you notice it. It did help that in the back. Okay. Sure, that's the very same on both sides now. Okay, now, I'm looking here. I seem like I've got just a little difference here on this side. Let me just do a little something on the other side. If you see this side. Let's go back and look. Do a little more. Thanks for coming to our channel. And you've seen what we did here. Let's go back and recap what we did. Half an inch off top. A lot of thinning through here. Taking that cow lick out here. Or whatever you want to call it. Swirl or whatever it was. Spreading that hair out. Fading it up with a three. A uh, two and three eighths. A quarter. Down to a comb. Cut down at the bottom. Maybe a two right at the bottom. Just going back and blending up here. Uh, doing the hairline out. Doing a comb, comb over clipper. 
take it a half an inch off top, thin and some, texturize and some. So, you got it. We appreciate you coming to our channel. Please subscribe to our channel if you gleaned anything off what we did today. I'm Michael Ryan Cassidy. We appreciate you so much. Thank you.